Hello everyone, today we will review a recent release from Edward, as you can see it's MiG21PF and it's released as a Profi Pack Edition. We've seen this kit before, it was a part of the St um, Stribornership Special Edition which was dedicated uh, to the Czechoslovak mix. And now we have it as a separate release with marking options which, let's say, can be interesting for models from other countries. Uh, this is typical profi pack kit. As you can see on the top of the box, we have nice box art which is uh, painted by Katerina Barecka. Uh, here we have five marking options which are available in this kit. As you can see here is Chernigov Air Base, also Czesky Budyovic Air Base, Vietnam also German Democratic Republic and Minsk I guess yeah. so this is top opening box uh, here on the side it's written that model length will be 330 millimeters wingspan will be 149 millimeters there are 466 plastic parts and also you will find their P parts in Edward mask and of course it's made in Czech Republic I mean that's obvious so let's open this box and check what's inside. Let's begin from the clear sprue as it lies on the top of all sprues. Molding quality I have to say is quite nice and it's on par with all previous MiG-21 releases so you won't be disappointed. Ah, you can see it here. So here are the two types of the canopy and also some clear parts for uh, external elements and target site as you can see. You shouldn't be worried about like masking all those uh, complicated shapes because manufacturer supplies also painting masks which is quite typical for the profit pack edition. Three sprues are packed into one bag so be careful when you're let's say buying this model from the shop. I would rather check it. But nevertheless, uh, my previous experience show that even after, let's say, roughest uh, shipment uh, parts, they uh, intact. So here we have the next sprue. It's molded from the grey plastic, as you can see, and it features some minor external parts, uh, such as, for example, tail segment and some even I guess here should be some cockpit parts here seat parts here is another seat part and here is a cockpit pa uh, back panel really nicely molded parts no flesh at all so it should be nice and here are two types of the dashboard of course we would use this one because uh, this point shape is designed for the use with PE parts obviously Next we have uh, armament sprues, uh, you can see them here. There are several types of armament, we will check this later in manual. But molding is really nice, recess panel lines are present on everywhere where they should be and I think it should look good in assembled state. Of course there are plenty of brassine accessories available for this model, so if you would like to detail up your model, you definitely should look on those brassine accessories. I guess we would review them a bit later, so stay tuned if you want to check those. And here is another sprue with armament as you can see. Let's move on. Next we have... Uh, here we have another two sprues. They are packed into the separate bag. And let's open them and check them closer. So what we have here are some wheel parts. For example, tires which will be assembled from two halves, uh, main winding gear legs, wheel hubs, nose gear leg, and what else? Some internal parts, wheel wells parts, and other minor parts. 
looks nice. I mean, even look on this exhaust part or this famous engine part. Really beautifully molded parts. And here is the nose cone famously bended over because originally it stood straight. Uh, and just a sec. Next sprue features various um, internal parts. Those include wheel wells, as you can see, and some winding gear covers, and what's those? Engine parts, cockpit parts. Again, okay, nicely molded parts, and I really don't see anything bad. Uh, then we have two final sprues which contain let's say the most important parts uh, those are fuselage house here you can see them which are uh, designed with recess panel lines and drive it in and here is another fuselage part really beautiful uh, here I, get, I can guess air brakes which can be positioned deployed or uh, retract, uh, retracted and on the yep inside we can see the special tabs um, let's say recessed places where tabs will be placed so that fuselage will have rigidity another sprue contains wing parts uh, which feature also recess panel lines and drive it in as you can see on the light really nice molded parts and here is the bottom wing half also nicely molded part as you can see wheel will will be assembled as a separate segment so here is nothing to show on the inside oh well here is some <laughs> bit of detailization then we have assembly manual, uh, which is done in quite typical fashion for the uh, profi pack kit. This manual as usual is printed in color, so as you can see on the front page we have uh, some history of the airplane and inside on the second page there is parts map, covers guide and also assembly manual itself which is quite understandable and I think there won't be any problem in assembling this. So here we have uh, two types of the external fuel tanks uh, missiles RS-2 US S-24 and uh, R-3S and what else? I think that's all here is a mask application guide and also marking guide for the painting options which are included into this kit. Well, this one is nice for the Chernigov. And here is the stencils variants for the pylons and missiles. And here is for the fighter itself. And then we have masks which are mentioned before. So this will be used for the canopy of course and I think they will be useful because it's really like time saving thing. Here we have PE parts. Uh, as you can see here we have blue panels. And quite traditional items such as dashboard, side panels, belts and various handles. And here are some other minor P parts which are unpainted and I think some of them will be applied external on external parts. Decals are surprisingly packed into plastic bag, so give me time to open them. I mean why surprisingly? Because before decals were just lying on the bottom of the box. And now we have them packed into separate bag. Quite a nice improvement let's say. So main decal sheet is printed by cartograph and features all necessary symbols as you can see. It also features special decals for the side panels and for the dashboard. And I have to say that printing quality is excellent. Moreover, now we have uh, 
separate deco sheet which is printed in Edward and it features all necessary stencils for the airplane and missiles as you saw so it should look nice after application of all those small writings let's say and that's all uh, if you want to check full article I would like to recommend you to visit our website and as usual I would like to thank you for watching this video and see you soon